Now let me discuss the effect of the cholinergic nervous system on the eye. Right? Let me discuss the effect of the cholinergic nervous system on the eye. Now within the eye, like we have muscles which are called as the sphincter pupillae. Sphincter pupillae are the circular muscles of the eye. And then we have another muscle that is ciliary muscle. Right? One is the sphincter pupillae and the other one is the ciliary muscle. Now, you see the cholinergic nervous system, what it will do? Cholinergic nervous system, that is parasympathetic nervous system, acts on the eye by acting on M3 receptors. Right? The receptors what are present within the eye is the M3 receptors. Now, this particular parasympathetic nervous system or the cholinergic nervous system will stimulate the sphincter pupillae. Right? Will stimulate the sphincter pupillae. Now, if you take the sphincter pupillae, these are the circular muscles. Right? These are the circular muscles. Circular muscles of the eye. Now, by activating, that is, by stimulating the sphincter pupillae, what will be the effect is, there will be constriction of the sphincter pupillae. Because of the constriction of the sphincter pupillae, that will result in meiosis. Right? That will result in meiosis. So, meiosis is what? Constriction of the pupil. Next. The parasympathetic nervous system, that is acetylcholine, can also cause the contraction of the ciliary muscle. Right? Can also cause the contraction of the ciliary muscle. Once there is contraction of the ciliary muscle of the eye, that will result in accommodation. Right? That will result in accommodation. Now, so what you have to remember is, parasympathetic nervous system has, will cause meiosis, that is the constriction of the pupil by activating the sphincter pupillae and will result in the accommodation reflex. And how will be the accommodation reflex? That is due to the contraction of the ciliary muscle. Alright? Now, so this is what is your cholinergic nervous system. Now, what does the anticholinergic nervous system will do? Remember, anticholinergic drugs. Okay? So, if you take this particular anticholinergic drugs, anticholinergic drugs will inhibit the sphincter pupillary constriction, will also inhibit the constriction of the ciliary muscle. So, accordingly, what does the anticholinergic drugs do? Remember, anticholinergic drugs will cause dilatation of the pupil, which is called as midriasis. So, remember, anticholinergic drugs will do midriasis. That is dilatation of the pupil. Next, by inhibiting the contraction of the ciliary muscle, what will happen is, there will be loss of accommodation. Right, there will be loss of accommodation. So, because of the loss of accommodation, remember, the individual will have blurred vision. Right, the individual will have what is called blurred vision. So, that is the effect of the parasympathetic nervous system on the eye. Remember, the parasympathetic nervous system on the eye is via the action of M3 receptors. Now, this parasympathetic nervous system can stimulate the sphincter pupillae, will result in constriction of the pupil, which is called meiosis, will cause the contraction of the or the stimulation of the ciliary muscle, and that will result in accommodation. Right, that will result in accommodation. Now, we have a group of drugs called anticholinergic drugs. Anticholinergic drugs will inhibit the contraction of the sphincter pupillae and that will result in midriasis. Anticholinergic drugs will also inhibit the contraction of the ciliary muscle and that will result in the loss of accommodation. And because of loss of accommodation, the individual will have blurred vision. That is the effect on the eye. Next. Next, let me take up the effect on the glands. 
right effect on the glands now a point that you need to remember is cholinergic nervous system will stimulate the secretion of glands that is all the glands in the sense it will stimulate the salivary glands to increase the salivation it will stimulate the lacrimal glands to increase the lacrimation and it will also stimulate the sweat glands to increase the sweat secretion all right so and the action is via m3 receptors so remember parasympathetic nervous system or cholinergic nervous system will act on the glands via the action on the m3 receptors so thereby this parasympathetic nervous system will increase salivation by stimulating the salivary glands will increase the lacrimation by stimulating the lacrimal glands will increase the sweating as well will increase the sweating as well by stimulating the sweat glands right now remember we have a group of drugs which is called anticholinergic drugs now what does this anticholinergic drugs do on the other hand the anticholinergic drugs will reduce all the secretions okay so if you take this anticholinergic drugs okay so if you take this particular anticholinergic drugs remember the anticholinergic drugs will inhibit the action of the parasympathetic nervous system and anticholinergic drugs will reduce the secretion okay so thereby what the individual will have the individual will have decreased salivation that will result in dry mouth decreased lacrimation that is the reason why the individual will have dry eyes and because of the dry mouth the individual can also have difficulty in swallowing all right that is the effect of the anticholinergic drugs